Germany have progressed to the semi-finals of Euro 2012 at a canter. Joachim Löw's side have won all four of their games so far in the tournament, scoring nine goals in the process. That follows a near faultless qualification campaign when the Germans won all ten of their games. But now his side come up against Italy, a side they have never beaten in a competitive match, and the masterful Andrea Pirlo. Andrea Pirlo is experiencing a renaissance without a shadow of a doubt. After 2010, there has been a time where you thought that maybe Pirlo was too old to have an impact in the Italian national team. But he's an outstanding footballer, a genius, who gets the ball a lot and plays the ball exactly where it's dangerous for the opponent. Some of the German players, such as striker Miroslav Klose, will recall the heartbreak of Germany's last meeting with Italy at a major tournament. That came at the World Cup in 2006 in Dortmund, where hosts Germany were beaten by the Azzurri 2-0 after extra time. The Lazio striker says he won't have that defeat at the forefront of his mind, though, come Thursday night's match in Warsaw. The 2006 World Cup was six years ago. Our game style has changed a bit because many new and more dynamic players play for us. So I think it's meaningless to talk about the semi-final we lost against Italy in the context of this match. Today these are two different teams. We are in very good shape. We have prepared really well. Only this game and only today counts. Everything else is in the past. Having won their last 15 competitive matches, Germany are unsurprisingly the favourites to make it through to Sunday's final in Kiev. But it certainly won't be straightforward for them. Italy haven't lost a match in 90 minutes in the knockout stages of any major competition since Euro 88.